today on the House of Buzz. Hi, I'm Buzzy. And a lot of ladies ask me, Buzzy, how do you get your log so smooth? Well, I'm going to show you. Today, we're going to use this tool to turn this log into this log. Well, welcome back. Hope you guys had a good break. We're going to get to work now. We're going to do a little bit of log cleaning. But first, let me talk about shop safety. All right. As always, we need to exercise safety in the work environment. So I'm going to show you what safety tools you need to work on the Mexican fan pump. First, you're going to need a helmet. which protects the head. And a respirator to protect the mouth. I remember my last episode, I said you can't really hear me when I got this on, so I'm not going to wear this again, so you can hear every word that I have to say. Alright, as you can see, I've got a brand spanking new log right here, but there's a problem. It's all dirty. You can't make a tiki with all this on, and look how hard it is to get it off. It's really tough. Kind of messy too. That's not good. I'll show you what I use. This tool right here. It's a lifesaver. It's got a blade, and it will cut everything off that that you need. Let's check it out. I've got this log turned upside down because it's a lot easier when it's upside down. What you do is you look for the little bump where the leaf is connected to it, and just cut right around. step and then I'll be all done. As you can see, I've got all the fronds off but it's still not quite ready. I just got to clean it off with my planer. When I'm done, it's going to look just like that. Okay, now we're ready to get the final process for cleaning this log done. The tool I'm going to use for this is my handy dandy Ryobi planer. I got this at Home Depot for about 80 bucks and it's the best tool I ever bought, the best investment I ever made. I highly recommend it. Rather than a log wizard, a draw knife, chisels, this is the way to go. Very versatile and quite handy. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start at the bottom of the tree and work your way towards the top because that way it's going to come off a lot easier. I got my setting on 3 30 seconds of an inch and I'm just going to start cleaning this bad boy off. Watch this. First though, remember, you're going to make a lot of dust. It's going to hurt your lungs, so you need to put on your mask when you do this. mask because it doesn't fit. We'll just make sure the tiki is safe. I'm tough. I can handle it. I got good lungs. All right. You notice I stopped right when I started hitting the carving wood. This is the bark, this is the wood. It just changes a different color and it changes the density. This will be holding a lot of good detail. 
You notice we've got a flat plane here, now we do is so just work these two corners here and bring those down and the whole thing will be round. Well, that looks good, and after a word from our sponsors, I'm going to show you how to do a big log. Thanks, Buzz. We here at Big Bang Creations are happy to sponsor your show. I'm Camo, and this is Bobaloo. We have developed the only line of unbreakable tiki mugs, and we're going to prove it and show it to you right here. Bobaloo, go ahead and demonstrate for us. Hey, thanks guys. I just want you to remember, without our sponsors, the House of Buzz couldn't happen. Alright, I've taken this big log and put it right here on my little handy dandy carving stand. Now what that does is it puts it on an angle so when I run the planer down it, gravity's going to do all the work and it's just going to pull the tool downhill. Now, one of the keys to doing logs like this is to make sure that you start at the bottom of the log and work your way up towards the top, because what that does is it cuts off these loose fibers as opposed getting them stuck up into the machine. So, what you want to remember is bottom of the log at the top, run it at an angle, let gravity do all the work. Check this out. Same tool, my Ryobi planer. We're going to go all the way down, one big stroke. Yeah, that took no time at all. As you can see, I got this whole log cleaned up in a matter of minutes. Look at how smooth and perfect it is. Now all I have to do is go inside, get my chisels and a pencil, and I'm ready to make a tiki. Whew! Tired from all that work getting this log ready. Now comes the fun part where I actually get to carve it. I've got all my drafting tools laid out here, so I'll be able to draw a perfect tiki on here. I just want to tell you one thing. Drawing is the most important part. If you can't draw a tiki right, you sure as hell ain't going to be able to carve it right. So you got to take a lot of time on drawing. And I'm going to take a lot of time to teach you how to do it right, because you'll need to carve right. So, stay tuned for the next episode of The House of Buzz, when I'll teach you how to draw a tiki.